Hi and welcome back to the channel. Well today, today what I want to do is I want to kind of reach back and I want to I want to I want to cover the Guardian entrance again. Now I know I did a, a review on the Guardian and I told you all of the all the flaws and in, in, in my opinion of the Guardian, but I wasn't able at that time to show you an example of what I was talking about when I said that it caused the girls, at least it causes my bees in my hives to lose pollen when they're flying back into the into the hive now i have received some comments from some people who said that well I, you just don't have it set up right well i guarantee that i have it set up correctly and you can either set it up over a bottom board in which case the bees can still get up underneath of it unless you actually put a wooden wedge or something in there or i have it set up as i do on my bee barns so that the only opportunity the bees have is to land on the front of the guardian or below the guardian and then climb up this is what they're doing climbing up through the the octagon shaped holes in the bottom of the of the guardian entrance and see that is the problem because when they climb up through there it causes the bees to lose the pollen that they have in their pollen baskets now it doesn't happen every time but it happens quite a lot and considering that this is this is dearth that we are just now coming out of and there's a little bit of pollen available out in the environment it's important that the girls get all of the pollen that they can back into their hives and that's not happening because a lot of it's landing on the ground let me uh, move the camera and i'll show you what i'm talking about okay so if you have a look you'll notice all of this pollen on the ground now it was a lot worse yesterday when i noticed this and there was a lot of yellow pollen there but apparently the ants have come by and the ants have, have, have cleaned a lot of it up and that is another problem with what's happening this pollen falling off the girl's legs and landing in front of your hive it also attracts critters other other foraging insects i.e. ants to your beehive and that is not good because that'll start getting the ants to crawl up on your beehive okay now we'll just let this camera sit here for a little bit and we'll see if we can catch any girls with pollen on their legs or even girls that don't have pollen on their legs crawling up through the holes in the bottom of the uh, guardian entrance. You can see that some girls are coming back with their pollen baskets full. There's a girl climbing up right through the bottom right now. She has a little bit of orange pollen on her legs. It didn't knock it off, but she certainly went up through the uh, honeycomb bo bottom here. There's another bee climbing right up through the bottom. She made it through, went in the hive. She did not have her pollen baskets filled. There's another bee that came up through the bottom. So you see what's happening here. They are coming up through the bottom. So far we've not seen one actually lose her pollen. But as you can tell by the pollen on the ground, they are losing their pollen. Now this is not happening to just the sage hive. This is happening to every single one of the hives that I put the Guardian Entrance Reducer on. And I've noticed it since I started using the Guardian Entrance Reducer. Another bee with dark orange pollen just crawled up through the bottom there. We haven't seen anybody lose the pollen from their pollen basket yet, but by, I, I can certainly tell by, again, looking on the ground that it has been happening. And, and, and we can argue, we can say, hey, listen, that's just a small amount of pollen. They're getting a lot of it in the hive. Well, the way that I see it, any pollen that they lose, when they bring it back to the hive, if it doesn't get into the hive, it's kind of a bad thing. They've worked for it. They need it. They obviously need it for their queen. They obviously need it for the brood. And the fact that it's not getting in there because of a mechanical flaw on an entrance is a shame. Let's look at this entrance from the top down. Okay, that's another, another perspective on the entrance. You can see the honeycomb bottom there.
you can see bees crawling up through it. There's one right there, just crawled up right through the, the bottom of it. Now, of course, that girl did not have pollen in her pollen baskets, but she still came up nonetheless. And when that happens, when they have a full pollen basket, they lose their pollen. If I were guardian, I would either make those holes smaller so that a beetle can fit through them and a bee cannot, or I would remove those, those holes altogether. It has a nice aesthetic. It looks like honeycomb. It fits in with beekeeping products, but it is not good for the bees because they are losing resources that they desperately need. I know that what I say about the Guardian entrance is usually just my opinion. I say whether I like it, whether I don't, whether I think it works, whether I think it keeps hive beetles out, etc., etc. But what I'm saying about the Guardian entrance today is a fact. It is preventing the girls from getting all of the pollen that they collect back into their hives because bees are climbing up through the bottom and knocking the pollen out of their pollen baskets and it's hitting the ground and it's bringing ants to the hive and it's, it's costing the bees a lot of uh, valuable resources that are in slim supply out there in the wild right now and they really, really need them. Now, I have seen this in the spring. I've seen this in the summer. I've, I've seen this through all seasons this year. Last time I talked about it when I did my review, uh, review of the Guardian, I didn't really have any footage of it nor did I have any, any video of the bees going up through the bottom of it, but now, now we do. And when I saw this happening yesterday, I knew it was time to let everybody know if you have a Guardian, um, understand that this is probably happening. Look on the ground around the front of your hives. You might want to consider removing the Guardian or, uh, or choosing something else. For me, I'm going to keep the Guardian even though it's causing this problem because I've actually built it into my bee barns and I have a great entrance reducer that I've made for the Guardian uh, entrance that lets me choke it off if there is a robbing situation. So there you go and there you have it. Just something to be aware of, but uh, warning to you Guardian users, this is a problem and if you're going to, if you're, well, I don't want to see if you're going to, but if you're looking at the Guardian as a uh, 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 entrance to prevent hive beetles, it may or may not work for you in that regard. didn't work for me, but what it will do is it will cost your girls some pollen. It's happening on every one of my hives. With all that said, hey, take care. Have a great day. Be happy, and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Talk to you later.